Hello there. Um, I was recording a story for a, a video assembly I was doing for a local primary school and I thought that um, others might like to hear the story as well. So if you like to listen, stick around. Um, this is the story of the storm that stopped and it's written by Alison Mitchell and Catalina Echeverry. One day, long ago, Jesus was teaching people by the sea. Soon, some more people arrived, then others, then more and more, until there were people everywhere. The crowds were just too big. We can't hear from back here. Give me some room. Be quiet. I can't see. No one could see Jesus and no one could hear Jesus. So Jesus asked his friends, the disciples, to push their boat out onto the water. He sat in the boat and the huge crowd spread out along the beach. Now they could all see and hear Jesus as he told them all about God. When he finished teaching, Jesus said to his friends, let's go over to the other side of the sea. Jesus had been teaching the crowd and now he had something to teach his friends. But they didn't know it yet. So they all jumped in the boat with him and set sail across the sea. Jesus was so tired, he'd been teaching the people all day. So he lay down in the back of the boat and fell fast asleep. It was a quiet evening. The water gently lapped against the boat and the sun slowly set in the sky. Jesus was sleeping. The disciples were talking when all of a sudden they were in the middle of the biggest, loudest, scariest, most ginormous storm you could ever imagine. The wind blew hard. The waves grew huge. The water poured into the boat, but Jesus was asleep. The wind blew harder, the waves grew huger, the water filled the boat, but Jesus was still asleep. Jesus, wake up, wake up, don't you care, we're drowning. What a silly thing to say to Jesus. Of course he cared. Jesus stood up in the boat. The wind was still blowing. The waves were getting bigger than ever. The water was pouring into the boat quicker than the disciples could tip it out again. The boat was sinking. But then Jesus did something amazing. He didn't help his friends pour the water out of the boat. He didn't help them try to row back to land. Jesus simply spoke, but he didn't speak to the disciples. He spoke to the storm, to the wind and to the waves. Quiet, be still. Just three little words. And the storm stopped. Right away at that very moment, the sea was quiet still and calm. Then Jesus looked at his friends. Why are you still afraid? Do you still not trust me? But they were terrified. and They asked each other, Who is this? Even the waves 
and wind do what he says. This is what Jesus wanted to teach them. He wanted them to know who he really is. The disciples already knew a lot about God from his special book. They knew that God made everything. He made the world. He made the sun and the moon and the stars. He made the sea and the wind as well. They knew that only God can tell the sea what to do. That only God can tell the wind when to blow or the waves when to crash. Only God can do those things. But the disciples had just seen Jesus do the same things God can do. So what is the answer to their question? Who is Jesus? Jesus is God. Jesus is God.